I'm Jan Jeffcoat and you're on the list. We're kicking off Maryland Wine Week. Nikki Mayo is uncorking the details around town. Pour yourself a glass of wine. The only way to really understand Maryland wine, or any wine, is to drink a lot of it. It's all smiles when it comes to supporting local libations. Waterfront Kitchen is one of the hundreds of local restaurants rolling out the red carpet for Maryland Wine Week. Recess the wine visually. Restaurants, wine shops, liquor stores, hotels across the state are going to have specials, discounts, winemaker dinners, flights, all featuring Maryland wine. Swirl the wine in your wine glass. From Brick Ridge in Mount Airy, 28 South Pub in Hagerstown, Nick's of Calvert, to the County Cork Wine Pub in Eldersburg. It's all about buying local and buying Maryland. Uh, would you taste it for us, please? And it's not just about sipping and spitting. Picking the perfect pairing should be a priority. Trying Maryland wine by themselves doesn't always help. But having it with, say, the Pinot Grigio with a crab cake sandwich, very good. Sniff the wine. And when heading to your local pub for a glass of Maryland wine isn't enough, why not head straight to the winery? And you don't have to travel very far at all. I think a lot of people would be surprised to find out that with 64 wineries in the state, there's probably some right in their backyard. The old guys like Forty, Cygnus, Bassignani, Elk Run, and then a bunch of new guys which are just coming on strong like Black Ankle, Knob Hall, these guys. There's also Detour Winery, Harford Vineyard, and Mount Felix. Sip the wine to assess its retro-nasal aromas and taste. Or for a more spirited staycation, you can check out one of the six wine trails in the state. The Antietam Highlands, Frederick, Carroll, Piedmont, the Patuxent, and Chesapeake. We have a list of the sip and stop spots posted on thelistshow.tv. When are we drinking now? For The List, I'm Nikki Mayo.